Libra, welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well. Let's get into your reading. So let's start off with some messages Ooh, from your spirit guides. These cards almost fell out of my head like a huge chunk of them. Resistance, okay. Seven of Earth in reverse. The Emperor of Shala. Wait a minute. This is six of Earth in reverse. My apologies. With Oshala the Emperor. Seven of Earth upright. Ten of, of Cups upright. The Outcast in reverse. The Eight of Earth in reverse. The Seven of Fire upright. And the Cuppers, the Couple, which is the Lovers, in reverse. Your spirit guides want you to know that somebody that you got kids with cannot get over you. They want a family dynamic with you so bad. If they fucked up and wasted your time or took the connection for granted and didn't treat you fairly with the six of pinnacle in reverse, ooh, they feel so stupid. They regret that because they not happy where they at. They can have another family elsewhere. This person is not happy where they are. And their new part, whoever they're with now, argues about you. They have arguments over you. And it looks like you blocked this person. Um, you don't want to talk to this person. It could be over some type of money matter. They didn't help you. They didn't contribute to the child. They feel outcasted. They, they, you've made it very clear that you don't want to have nothing to do with this person. And they don't want it to stay that way. They, If, if they knew that they had a chance with you, they would leave whoever they with in a heartbeat. And you want to know what I intuitively feel, Libra? I feel that um, whoever they're with, they already know this. They know this. Mm -mm. Why is the emperor here? Because here's the thing. This spread is like an apology. It's like an apology. It's like... I, I'm, I'm, I wish that I could have been the man that I, I should have been back then so we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in now. This is a father figure that's regretful. This person could be in some type of financial ruin or some type of financial hardship. And when they had money, they didn't invest it properly. This is crazy. Okay, tell me about Oshala. The world, five of water in reverse, and female extra in reverse. This person chased hoes. They probably was in a hoeing phase and took like a family dynamic for granted. Instead of moving forward with you or with whoever, they chose to do everything but. And when they fail, they fail hard. And I think they've come to terms with this, whatever this sense of failure is. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Your person could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Pisces, a Gemini, or a Capricorn. I got Aries here. But a uh, Libra. If you a masculine energy, particularly a male, a father figure, is saying that you, it's talking about you. You you some of y'all represent this regretful father figure that want another chance and don't want to be with who you with right now. Y'all could be arguing about another person. I'm hearing Summer Walker. Uh, what's that song, Summer Walker? Uh, it's one of the songs that's, um, on her album, Still Over It. 
Was she talking about the bitter baby mama? Something like that is going on here. Uh, child. Okay, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not going to stay on this, but that's what I'm getting. I'm being led to read out loud the outcast in reverse. Okay, this is about somebody that's needing to go back and ch make some changes and go to the right path or else the weaknesses and deficiencies that he's already or she's already suffering through from their karma will become engraved and irreversible. Wow. Okay. Oh, so somebody is suffering hugely uh, based off how they did you. And if they got kids and they didn't do right by the kids, eh, that's, that's another thing. They could have did you dirty and the kids dirty, something like that. All right. Let's see. got the emperor again the ten of wands and the sun and the ace of swords somebody wants to come towards another person and you know y'all could have a son y'all could have any type of child but the sun is here there somebody wants to break another person's walls down because they're unapproachable then you got a person here that's standing in their power they really don't want to hear what the other person has to say. Then the person that wants to come towards the other person here and apologize and make something right has a whole nother situation going on that they know is going to piss, it's going to create drama in their life. You got the devil at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn energy, Leo, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Somebody didn't got themselves in a situation that's hard for them to get out of. But even if they tried to get out of it, okay. Even if they could get out of it with no drama, does do y'all even want them? No. It looked like okay, you got temperance, that's Sagittarius energy. The Four of Swords, that's Libra energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. Enough, too much time then went past. And, uh, and, uh, and the person that, that has their guard up feels like it's better if, you know, they go their way, go their way, the other person goes their way. They've healed, they've overcome this, they're, they're working hard on stability and have done a lot of work on themselves. And they feel like giving this situation another shot would stress them out. They'd rather accept a love offer somewhere else. What about the child? What about the child? This is not even a child. No, is this a child? It could be. For some of y'all, I got a page and then I got a knight. But it seems like the child is happy. They might have went through some type of hardship. The child look at one of the parents as uh, problematic. The child may spy on the absent parent's social media or observe them in some kind of way. And it looks like they were sad about a situation. But now it's like everything is good with the Nine of Pentacles. No, with the Nine of Cups right here. So, I mean, it was an issue. 
like a child was hurt about some type of neglect or some type of burden of another parent being absent but they're they're pretty much over it right now all right so much for a general spread let me get another general spread for leave replacements Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Two of Swords, and Ten of Swords. The hard part is over. I don't know why this keeps coming out. It's not the exact same message, but it's along the same along those those lines. People from your past are regretting how they treated you. You have reinvented yourself or came out of the bag on people. Maybe people didn't realize that you were spiritual and intuitive and they looked at you as an average Joe, an average Jane. And now you probably make more money than all of them. Some people from your past admire you. Other people are jealous of you and they find ways to like try to call you out, make you look bad. Somebody hates that you're right about a lot of shit. The other people are turned on by your independence and this side of you that they didn't know existed. Some people look at you as you're snooty and don't want to be bothered. I see a woman here with black hair and, and two other women with blonde hair. You can have these colored hairs. I don't know. But somebody is 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 uh, still coping with betraying you or having an ending with you. What is this about? You seem to be unbothered, and I think that's another thing that pissed people off about you. Why is it that Libra can consume so much of my time with me thinking about them, and I'm non-existent in their thoughts? That that that's. That's another thing that is um, annoying somebody. Whoever this is that has uh, you on their mind a lot. It could be another Libra, a Cancer, a Virgo. You know, somebody is going through money problems watching you thrive in some kind of way. And they know that you, even if they asked you for help you probably you know even if the even if you knew how bad a situation was you probably wouldn't help them based off like how things went in the past with the six of cups at the bottom of the deck Taurus energy somebody wants to be friends with you so damn bad man they either want to reconcile with you or be friends with you. And you completely turn your back on them. And they know they deserve it. But damn, damn, damn. Is it still worth a try to just ask anyway? Should I still reach out to Libra? You know, Page of Pentacles. Somebody texting you, calling you. Somebody's life is going in shambles, honey. See, the divine see everything. You see how that eye is, is overseeing that tower? And you like this dove. You flying up out of the way. Mm -mm. somebody had this shit coming Scorpio energy here alright let me see uh, financial messages for lead replacements The world, the Ten of Pentacles, and the uh, shadow side of the Page of Wands. I don't know. Your hair is about to grow like crazy. Something is about to go viral. I don't know if you make hair cream or skin hair products. I don't know if you do that. 
but it looks like uh, something is about to go viral or pick up from a business standpoint, especially if you're an entrepreneur. If you got an online platform going on, that's how you're going to meet your spouse or somebody that you end up being in a relationship with for a long time. Somebody is about to hit a threshold that's going to change their tax bracket, their location. Be upgrading a vehicle and damn sure meeting somebody nice that just overcame some other, you know, like just overcame some shortcomings on their own. You've changed a lot. You could have changed your hair from like brown to blonde or red. If you have a social media platform, keep doing what you're doing. Because what awaits you will reward you a thousand times over. And I mean a thousand times over. Some of y'all are meant to mentor and teach people. Others of y'all are about to come into some money. And you being advised to move, especially if you are a social media influencer. You might start randomly seeing people. And you do have haters that's jealous of your success, but they will be when the money start coming in. I'm telling you, somebody sit around and watch. They, they know that you might be the first millionaire in your family. Whether it be through your hard work or through your marriage. Maybe a little bit of both play come into play. But you being led, you being advised to lay low. Because everybody don't like you. Everybody don't like you. And they'll hurt you if they have the chance to. We got Libra, Virgo, Aries, Virgo again. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Cancer. Be careful. Um, I'm going to pull an additional financial spread. You guys could be picking up an additional stream of income. You'll be busy, but, I mean, it'll get the bills paid. It'll give you some extra money. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and a Two of Swords. You know, it's like you giving up money. You giving up time for money or money for time. Some of y'all will be hit with this dilemma. You giving up time for money or giving up money for time. Because uh, if you pick up another uh, source of income, another job, you ain't going to really have time for nothing else. Do what you need to do for like eight months, the first eight months of starting this job so you can let it go and uh, rest. If you do anything past eight months, you will more than likely burn yourself out. Yep, you guys are definitely chasing money. And I'm here, make that money, girl, but don't let it make you. So be careful, like pace yourself. You, you might be doing too much already with the devil here in the four of swords. You could be, your, your health could be at risk by how much you work. All right. All right. So let me pull some Oracle messages. independence it's time to go out on your own and create your own business or try something outside your comfort zone and uh, this message did come up in regards to entrepreneurship being a content creator or whatnot let's see moving up some of you could be getting a raise you are increasing your power and status you may get promoted or move to a better home or office you climb the ladder of success i did pick up on a move too i did pick up on a move in the tarot spread so okay I'm going to pull some additional oracle messages.
Yeah, some of you guys are going to get a job offer or some type of partnership offer with business contract documents. You could be getting like uh, donations if you're a content creator, gifts of money, or getting some type of random uh, financial assistance from family or friends. But you got some paperwork that's coming to you that involves you receiving money. It has something to do with a will or a life insurance policy. Some of you guys could be taking on seasonal work or changing your job altogether or going into a completely different field that bring you more stability. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. So, let's see how the person on your mind feel about you. Hold on one second. Eight of Cups, the back of the King of Cups, the front of the King of Pentacles. The shadow side of the Four of Wands and Judgment. You got the Ace of Pentacles on one side and you got the Nine of Wands on the other side. I, I feel like I'm talking to a particular group of uh, Libra placements. Um... Somebody is choosing to stay away from you, especially if you're a man, because I got two masculine cards here. Uh, somebody is choosing to stay away from you and go towards somebody else. Um, they're not about to make it work for the kids or for the greater good or none of that. They've made up their mind a little like some time ago. And uh, they're focusing on new. If you're blocked, they're going to continue to keep you blocked. This person is completely focused on moving on they've seen you treat somebody else or other people i don't know maybe even other children it's a child here it's a child here better than than the children y'all have something something like that is here and they're done they are done scorpio leo capricorn taurus scorpio scorpio yeah this is done 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 this is done. Oh, yeah. This is done. This person feel like you didn't treat them right and they deserve better. They deserve love. They deserve love. They are lovable. So they basically blaming you for everything. Now, please take this how it resonates. A marriage could be involved with wedding here. This situation involves marriage or something like that. I don't know. But that's what I see. For those that that didn't resonate with, what about, um, let me get another spread. For those that didn't resonate with that. Single people looking for new connections or whatever comes out. For people that didn't resonate with the first spread. Uh, it's the same energy here. The back of the two of swords. The ace of pentacles. And the back of the four of wands. Why is the back of the four of wands here? You're ignoring somebody. I feel like this is somebody that you know. This ain't nobody new. This is somebody that you have moved on from that is in a fake-ass relationship trying to act like they're happy, they're stable, they're winning, and they're not. And this person feels stupid because you ignore them. Somebody tries to go out of their way to make it seem like their relationship is so great when you don't even want whoever it is that they trying to like make you jealous about or brag about. Like They may be like, look at me and Bay, we're doing this, we're doing that. And you could be like, shit... I don't give a fuck what you or that person doing. Like, you can have that little dusty ass person. I don't know what this. Yeah. This could involve a Leo, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a, um, Aquarius, a Scorpio, and another Libra. Mm, mm, mm. The 
release your ex. It's the time has come to clear your energy and codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Somebody could drink a lot, smoke a lot, do whatever, you know, have some type of codependency. Um, it looks like you have released them, but I don't think they released you. I don't. I don't. Somebody could be engaged. So, so with the last spread, I got marriage, wedding at the bottom of the deck. This time at the bottom of the deck, I got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Somebody is going to realize that marriage is not going to solidify a relationship or make them any happier. It's just, for, it's just to make them feel better. Somebody is tired of being a baby daddy or a baby mama. And they think, you know, once I get married, you know, it's going to be different. And it is not. It might even be worse. Because whoever it is really don't want to get married in the first damn place. And really don't want to be with the person that they marry. It's like they're settling. And they may resent the person for coercing them into settling. Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm going to pull some prediction cards, see what's going to come out for the next 30 days for y'all. Decision, revenge, criticism, discovery, negotiation goodness gracious i see traveling i see a particular business deal where you could like negotiate your rate your salary i see people judging you out of jealousy i see people wanting to make you mad because they feel like you beat them and i see you being indecisive in regards to a decision that you have to make with your mind versus what your heart is saying and you may come across some information that make or break something at work. You may pinpoint some corruption or have some type of receipts that expose a person in ways that, that uh, they may not be able to recover from in some form of fashion. Why is indecision here? Generosity. Saturn and Leo. This can have something to do with a business deal, too. Like, you taking the money over the passion. Or taking the passion over the money. Why is revenge here for Libra's 30-day prediction? Mm. Okay, so these angels are reaching out to this mother with these two kids. You got Saturn and Cancer for charity. Somebody may find it in their heart to like step up and do something or work something out with a family member or a child. And if they have like another baby father or another baby mother or have married or whatever, it's going to make that person very jealous. Some of y'all could be volunteering at a shelter, a soup kitchen, or an animal shelter. Or volunteering for Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that this ain't going on with Girl Scouts. But I'm specifically hearing, if you if you don't let your child go on a particular trip with the Boy Scouts, if you're not chaperoning. It's important that you chaperone because you're going to pick up on the P word, the P affiliate. You gonna you gonna pick up on some of that and have a whole different um, opinion on that particular Boy Scout branch. So I'm hearing campfire, some type of kids recreational uh, association. You may find out one of their workers or employees are fondling with children. That's what I got. I know that's some shit, ain't it? Child. I don't see how people could do that. Like, how could you be attracted to a child? It's a damn child. But let's see. What's your closing message? Oh, 
your hard work is paying off with the new moon in Capricorn. Take time to breathe out so somebody is stressing you out. Something is stressing you out. And if you want it to change, take action. Do something about it. Don't just, you know, I don't know, y'all. I feel like I'm I know that women, majority of the time, watch this channel. And sweetheart, I'm sorry. Thank you for your love and support. But I can't, like, ignore the energy I feel like I'm talking to a, a, a man, a Libra man. That may be in a stressful situation in regards to a relationship they don't want to be in, a job they don't want to be in. But if they leave, they know they got to pay up. If they, they can't just quit their job because they need something that's going to replace that income and it's stressful it's getting more stressful to pretend to be happy something like that all right that's what i have uh thank you so much for watching i love you give me a kiss and you have a good day bye libra